back to the Measures of Success Video Practice Buddy Series. I'm Dr. Deb. In this short video, we're going to show you a very special technique that's unique to clarinet players, and we're going to call it going over the break. Jordan here is going to do some demonstration for you while I take you through the process. It really is not a very difficult process, but you have to remember to keep your air going. It's all about the air. Okay, you ready, Jordan? Jordan's going to play a low F for you right now. He's going to get a really great sound. Go ahead. Good. Now remember that low F is one, two, three, one, two, three, and the low F key. One more time on the low F. Good. Now this time I'm going to have Jordan play that low F again. And I'm going to ask him to close his eyes and I'm going to do something really, I'm going to surprise him as he plays. So let's go ahead and do that again. Close your eyes. Did you hear that change in sound? You can open your eyes. Did you hear that change in sound? Jordan jumped from the low F to the C above it, uh, which actually is two C's above it, and then we call that going over the break. He didn't change anything about his fingers. He didn't change really anything about his embouchure. He kept his air going, and the only thing that was different was that the register key on the back of the clarinet was depressed. Now, I did it that time, and this time Jordan's going to do it. And the way he's going to do it, and if you want to turn your clarinet like that, he's going to roll his thumb up so that his thumb is covering not only the, the F hole back here, but it's also covering or pressing down on the register key. Good. Okay. So he's going to play that F again. He's going to use lots of really good air, very supported air. And when I ask him to, he's going to pop that register key so that that sound, that beautiful sound of that high note will come out. I'm going to ask Jordan to do it again, and this time rather than playing the F, I'm going to ask him to play the low G. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, G. When he presses the register key to help the clarinet jump over the break, he'll get that high D instead of the low G. Let's try that. Ready? Beautiful sound. Let's do one more. He's now going to play the very low E on the clarinet. So take a look at what that fingering is. Check your book, the, the fingering chart in your book if you need to. So he's going to play that the very low E on the clarinet, and when he presses the register key, he's going to get the B. Nice sound. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Going over the break really is all about the air. So practice that and practice it often. It's going to be something that's going to be very useful for you as a clarinet player. In the next Measures of Success video practice buddy for clarinet, we're going to talk about tenuto and staccato, so be sure to check that out. Now, on behalf of everyone here at FJH Music and Jordan, I'm Dr. Deb. Thanks for joining us.